Welcome back to Hacknet, which is a game that I am playing at least a little bit. I'm setting up my proxies here. A couple of cool proxies. Then I'm uh, going to move my logs from both of the proxies. Remove and remove star, kiddo. All right. Let's go get some freaking jobs, dude. We got the asset server. We just did that last time. There's CSEC. Public drop. All right. Let's do some CSEC nonsense. Oh, that is a cool thing. All right. Let's go. Got my password. Um. Investigate a medical record. Teach an old dog new trick. Remove a fabricated death row record. That seems cool. This is a cleanup job to remove false information a hacker planted in a death row database. For reasons unknown, a false duplicated record has been added to the death row record. It's likely some sort of identity theft or griefing plan. We would like this false record removed. It sounds really good. Let's do it. Alright. Um, record details. Record Joseph Fellman. Alright. Where did that one go? Oh, it's right next door. It's not even a big deal. Oh, man. They have, like, a weird front-facing thing. Probe. Firewall. That figures. There's got to be a better way to do this than to do it this slow way, but whatever. So, I know. I know the analytics. Okay. S U N Sun Hey. G. I don't understand. A H A H S U N Y A G. What is this? What does this mean? What? All right, well, that sucked all the butts. Port 1433. Oh man, that's a big one. I don't think I can do anything else. Let's try to FTP bounce on top of it, maybe. Just barely. Cool. All right. Unlock the database. H, oh, that's web server. Quit 80. That one takes a while, which is very frustrating. But we'll be ready once it does. All right, Joseph Fellman. Forget you. We're getting you out. And by getting you out, I mean you're a fake account that we don't want them to have. So we're going to delete you. But whatever. Database. Records. Yeah, I could just remove everybody, right? Move Fellman Men Joseph. Bye bye now. I'll see you on the other side. CD log. CD dot dot uh log. You know what? I'm super grumpy. There. It's because I had to go up too, technically. Because I was in record, so I had to go up, up, and then to log, but whatever. DC. Done. It is done. Job's a good one. A theme changer? Man, that would have been useful before I started hacking my computer to try to change themes. Alright, we're gonna go check it out. We might as well. View file system. I'll find login. View file system themes. So let me let me download the thing. Where's the thing? Huh. Weird. Okay. Theme changer. This is such a weird thing, because it does EXEs for everything, but EXEs are like Windows, so it's like... But it uses all terminal commands, so I don't understand what kind of crazy future computer I'm using. But whatever is fine. I think I've said that already. I think I really don't need to talk about that anymore. 
Um, okay, cool. So contract done. You don't need the Joseph Feldman note. Um, that's fine. Contract successful. Rank 90 out of 100. Cool. Um, let's go do another job, I guess. Jorbs. A good one. Help an aspiring writer. Oh, it's locked. Compromise an EOS device. All right. I can do that. I know the password for those. That's not hard. Client has requested that we search the computer and devices of a given target they are calling registration ID. Leave it will be stored on the E5 device synced to the target's home computer. Cool. It's neat that they give us their contract details for this one. Registration ID, huh? All right. Probe the workstation. This shouldn't be too tough. It does require every freaking port to be open, though. Port 80. TP 25. Fine. FTP 21. I'll be ready for the next one. Just do watch. <sighs> fine. Fine, 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 fine. I don't want to... Oh, because this stupid note is taking up all my space and ruining my flow. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Okay, so... Guys, what is my wallpaper of? It's like of some, like, eagles fighting... Like, a really fuzzy Judas Priest album cover or something? I don't really know. We need to scan the network for his attached device. Um, wait a minute. No. Hold on. Ooh, I really want to read that. No, we're going to have to leave here. Hold on. Three, two, one. All right, let's try that again, shall we? There's nothing, man. There's no attached computers. What are you trying to do to me, buddy? The results come back? They did. Inconclusive. Thought for sure we had cracked it this time. The cell count is much higher than last time. They don't seem to be attacking the host, just sitting idle. They don't really know how many months I can spend on this project. Rome wasn't built in a day. Even gods have to earn their power. They don't remember the last time I slept in my bed at home. Yeah, I know. Your snoring echoes through the whole lab. Really? I'm sorry. It's adorable. So what's the plan now? I guess we take the latest sample and spin the genetics to try to make up a new path. All right, you want to get lunch today? Depends. Whether they feed us that sorry excuse for Salisbury steak again. Now, I used to have a coworker, man. He would legitimately eat Salisbury steak for lunch every day. Like, microwavable Salisbury steak. Every day. And it was always the same. Except when he didn't have any more, at which point he would settle for another flavor. Man, I miss him. Like, he was great. All right. <laughs> We need to find, like... So what'd you get up to this weekend? Not much. Jerry was out of town again. So I guess means you weren't home. Well, I might have ended up at Rice House. Jane, this is getting a little out of hand. How long can you keep this up? I know, I know. It's just hard, you know. Jerry is always away for work, and when he does come home, he's dead tired from all the traveling. I don't even remember the last time we went out anywhere, even for a coffee. Rice was just kind of there. Reese? It's Reese, right? Because it's Reese in the Borderlands Tales, so I'm gonna, but I'm going to say Rice because fuck it. I'm mistaken at first, but now I think it's turning into something. So now I'm into this conundrum. I start calling you Anastasia. Which he did. Um, not helpful. Thanks, Data. Oh, wait. 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 Dancing baby.
Mushk Patuga, Mufin, Blanaba, Mork, Searl, Magno, Mushk Patuga, Heart of Choke Hearts. Somebody stopped having fun halfway through that joke. Um, uh, where is your attached device? Oh, sh duh, I have to run the thing. I'm sorry, it's the EOS, that thing. You have to scan for them. My bad, guys. I'm sorry, I completely forgot. Yep, that's what we want. Add that thing to my to my thing. Ellen, Eleanor's. Yep, cool. Um, don't let them know that we were scanning. What do we got? Notes. Shopping. Registration IDs. All right, let's take that. Mine now. What is baby booty? Angry Violence, Racer Trilogy, Warrior, Mecca, Season Pass. Dude, you bought the Season Pass to Mecca. Don't you know that's a, like, ripoff? Is there any mail in here? All right, let's get the heck out of here. And let's jump home. Look at my file system. I should really delete this huge stash of stuff that just implicates me. Um, so we're looking at AAX1B7, which I cannot have open at the same time. Uh, no, I don't want to be in the mail server. I want to be on my file system, and I'm going to just get out of here. I'm going to do this one, and I'm going to do new note. And it's going to be AAX1. I know that that's extraneous and that I shouldn't have to do that, but I'm really bad at remembering things. Yeah, 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 boy. Nice. Um, I need to, like, yeah, do all right. Blah, blah, blah. 80, 100. Nice. All right, let's go see what we can do here. Um, beep. Beep. Hmm, what's a good one? Wipe an academic record. Dude, I would Ferris Bueller for someone. Yeah, let's do it. Seasick remember remember me anonymous and needs a small job done. They're unable to complete this themselves for anonymity and motive proofing reasons. A former employer has continued to underpay and generally enforce money saving. Corp employee welfare compromising practices on all of his employees for some time. The agent would like his academic record wiped clean and removed. It's part of a side project to correct his wrongs. Hell yes, I will Ferris Bueller the hell out of this man. Clear record for Jacob Stevens. Goodbye, Jacob Stevens. Good night, sweet prince. I didn't see where I put it. There's so much stuff on here now. All right, there it is. It's right between those other two. Um, hold this, baby. Firewall detected. All right, so let's do... Um, let's exit that thing. I think we'll be okay. Fourteen, fourteen, thirty-three. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Man, I should really figure out a game, like a truth or dare, or some stupid game to play while I'm doing these things that I'm doing over and over again. Uh, S M T P yeah. overflow insufficient memory. Not anymore. Get ready. Get ready. And I just want to go out on the record and impress upon all of you that real hacking is nothing like this. It's so much waiting and reading and just reading and waiting. Oh, I have to get past the firewall. That's sad. I forgot entirely about that. I know, baby. You're killing me. Okay, we're getting closer. 
I'm just going to put all of the things in there and not actually worry about spelling the word. Solve. A, C, A, D, E, M, I C. Academic. It's a real word this time. File system. What? Oh, court act. My bad. Forgot to do the thing. Forgot to do the thing. The swoopy thing. The shroom go in a circle thing. Alright. LS. Academic data. Admin entry cache. Remove. Jacob. The only Jacob that graduated from here. Good night, sweet prince. Yeah, boy. What else we got while laying around? Anything good? I was looking at. Yeah, it's gonna keep doing it while I look. Dude, I want to kind of want to see what their X server looks like. I'm just gonna take it. Hold on. I don't know what it's gonna be like, but I really want to take it. We'll see. Cause we have theme changer now, it shouldn't be a huge pain. Um. Oh yeah, we can disconnect. Oh no, I left the log of me taking that thing. Oh. Oh well. Whatever. Let's go. Local admin closed all the ports, but I'm still connected. All right, DC. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. All right, so Jacob Stevens is toasted. We don't need him anymore, but let's go here. Let's go to uh, theme changer. Pick this one. Activate. Well, that's really traditional and nice. I don't know. Do you like this one better, guys? This one has a... I think... I'm just going to keep changing my theme just because it, uh... It, like, uh, gives me something to do on other than just missions. So, that's fine. Um, oh, we have to go tell C-Sec that we finished. Yeah, boy, we're done. Uh, the client of your recent contract reported a success. Fancy. And back to C sec. Log in. Let's see what we got. Teach an old dog new tricks. Locator decrypt. Create a new decryption software. Ooh. New companies come out with some new file encryption software. It's locked up on a bunch of previously very open code to us with it. Oh. They've locked a bunch of stuff out. The other one doesn't seem as bad as what we faced in the past. There's no solver out for it yet. Contract will have you solve the problem however you want, but you need we need a file decrypted. I don't know how to do this one, so that's why I chose it, because I think it'll be more fun than something I've already done. Um, all right, once you have it encrypted, upload it to the drop server, which we know. There's theirs. Crosswords web service. All right, DEC Solutions has recently finished their new DEC encryption suite. It's a file encryption package. We have a file that we want to look at that's been locked by this encryption. Throw a copy of it up on your cross on the crossword server. Um, I want to take a look at the file itself first. The it website is pretty barren of anything useful. But if you dig a bit, you might be able to find something to find to help. All right, so let's take that. Let's take that and the contract details. Okay, let's go get the file at the crossword server first. <sighs> Come on, man. It's a CSEC crossword server. Why do I got to be like this? Why do you gotta be like this? Why can't you just let me have it? It's a big file. CSEC encode one. What's this? Screenplay? Fresh out of fucks. Open scene. Gentle pianic music plays in the background. Looking at the clock on the dash of a golf buggy. 7.22 a.m. A poorly dressed man takes a swig from an obviously stolen box of wine. Don't judge him. It's convenient and delicious. By poorly dressed, of course, I mean he's wearing nothing but a Speedo. His outline is clearly visible. What the fuck is this? Cruising past a cafe in the buggy's max speed of 40 kilometers per hour. It's got a turbocharger on the back. He casually reaches out and flips a businessman's coffee over. Screeching to a stop across two handicapped sparking spots, he scrolls or strolls out and he drains the rest of his box and throws it on the road like he doesn't even care a little bit. Not at all. 
The music's really building now to a big dramatic point with horns and everything, and our hero walks gallantly put toward a nearby trash can, mounts it, without hesitation removes his pants and takes a long, satisfying dump. Cut to a horrified old lady's face. Show title. Aw. It's encoded. All this stuff is encoded. Are you guys using their new their new product already? Lol. I downloaded something from Napster. The guy I downloaded from starts downloading it from me when I'm done. I message him and say, what are you doing? I got that from you. He says, getting my song back, fucker. Um... <laughs> I heard about this guy who broke into a lion's den at the zoo and got mauled. People were talking about how there should have been better defenses put up to prevent people from getting into the cage. A friend of mine suggested setting up some kind of deterrent. For example, putting sort of sort of fierce animal in the cage, which would attack anybody who climbed in. <laughs> okay. We've had our fun. Let's get on with it. So, let's delete our logs. Let's jump back home. Let's look at our file system. Let's look at this guy. Okay. The only clue that we have in here is this D E C E N C. So let's go look at the site. This one right here. Boop boop. Aw, look at you. You're cute. Firewall, huh? It's going to start tracking me, isn't it? No, it's not. They are not very well defended for a security company. Almost there. Okay. E <laughs> it's incipped. How about encrypt, you fool? Which is what I meant to type. Oh. Kiddo. Kiddo. Alright. Uh, web. Port 80. SQL1 um, 1433. I don't think I can do both. Nope. I know, I know, but I need these notes, man. I need, well, I don't really need that note. Alright. I like, to be fair, I like this graphic. Just doing a bunch of select statements or something. So let's see what they've got in here that might help us figure this out. Yo, I want to steal their X config. I don't know why. I just want it. Um. Hey, test policies PDP.dec. Oh, they're using their thing. Haha, <laughs> made you look. You suck. Bye bye jerk. Staff memo. They're all encoded with the same thing. New policies encoded. We have a... And a downloaded from Napster Joe. I got it. Philosophy thesis. For centuries, man. Our man has searched for the answers to life's great questions. Who are we? Where do we come from? Is there a god? Are children actually small? Or just so repulsive and irritating that they appear small due to being kept at great distance? Some of these questions may never have answers, but I believe the answer to the last and most vital question is with finally within humanity's grasp. I propose an answer once and for all, the greatest of conundrums. This mystery within an enigma that I humbly submit to you, dear reader, that the answer is neither of these. In fact, children are distortions within the fabric of space-time created by fourth dimensional beings to frustrate and marginally inconvenience humans. A cosmic illustration of the grandest of scales. The first piece of the puzzle is that the origin of children can be found in the place we least expect, the almost equally mystifying entities known as parents, or child sympathizers. Indeed, this strange group of quasi-human creatures, loathed and pitied by most, can occasionally be coaxed into revealing some secrets of the child. Recent research papers, such as Hoop and Milhouse's famous How a Babby is Formed, have shown evidence which suggests that the mother, the female parent, must do way and stain the child until it gains the ability to fry through the back. It's now obvious that doing way and staying <laughs> is a female child sympathizer's way of enabling the child to cross the pan-dimensional rift towards our plane 
and begin broadcasting its auditory and olfactory signals of irritation to fight back. I'm just going to say it. While, uh, while evidence to what children seems irrefutable, the motivation behind their pandimensional trickery is still a baffling of questions. Perhaps a child is pu a purely malicious figure, acting as a cosmic force of mischief, or the amusement of itself or some greater being, feeding on human misery and irritation. Or perhaps the answer is still more bizarre. Perhaps. That is pretty dope and made me laugh. Okay. <laughs> How Babby is formed. Yo. Uh. What if we do, like, I've got a, I've got a thought. All right. What if we go back? What if we scan the network? Uh-huh. Yep. Let's remove the logs, and then let's go to their mainframe. I bet you they store their software on their mainframe. Because if I was a mainframe, that's what I would do. How about I don't misspell probe? And then we have no problems. All right. Um, holy shit. Okay. Uh, SQL. 1433. SSH. 22. FTP. Dude, these guys have tons of security in place, but no tracking. Like, nobody's watching. Can I do this one at the same time as that one? Yes, I can. And then this is the web server one, which we need to do with port 80. There. So now let's just watch that cool thing happen for a minute and then get ready. Because we're going in. Come on, get it organized. Get it organized. Guys, get it organized. Come on. Come on, down. There you go. Interesting and interesting. Okay, um, let's go dig. Encrypt.dc. Okay. Actually, that might be useful. I'm not sure. One is false and one is true, correct? One, Morgan. Bastard. Uh, I got kicked out of the Barnes & Noble ones for moving all the Bibles into the fiction section. I'm going to take this encrypt SCP. Have you guys ever... Uh, have you ever read the SCP Foundation stuff? It always makes me pretty happy. Um, staff memo. First of all, congratulations on the successful launch of our encryption suite. It's been a huge success, and I hope you're all excited by the new marketing material as I am, which I am not. This season is becoming a more prominent force in the world of software development. I feel that we as a community need to step into the plate and hold ourselves to a higher standard. To send, I'm enforcing a few new policies in the company. I hope you're all love and appreciate as the workflow improvements. I think they really are. I hate you. That happens to me so often. What do we got? New policies. Sensitive company data, source code, confidential memos should all be encrypted at all times when not being worked out. And what better software for this than our own? You've seen the website, and I'm sure you can understand how this will make business more secure. Trusting place. That's one of my own files. Some very important ones I've double encrypted. It's like using two condoms. Even if one breaks, somehow you're still safe. Don't do that. Okay? Don't do that. Because if you use two condoms, they will rub against each other and probably both break. Um, just, just throwing that out there. Don't do it. Um, okay. When encrypting files, you should be finding a password list most of the time. But if you feel something's a critical encryption, use your company ID as a password. I encrypted past files would use your ID as a password. Be careful that the encryption suite are to be kept offline all times in this age of digital security we cannot be too careful so i should be able to use it to unencrypt you know, un stuff so i should be able to say um no all right never mind locked hey david i've been looking through the code we got back from the contractors on for the encryption and it's well breakable really breakable like dangerously so what a program to do this so I can show you and send it over. You're probably going to want to delete that and this memo once you've seen what it can do. To run it, just hit decipher in a file name like this. 
Okay. File name password. Okay. Well, fine. Um. Decipher. Lawsuit response. Decipher. It's gonna be bad. Lawsuit. It's not gonna work if it won't autocomplete for me. I don't have one yet. Okay, hold on. There you are, baby. Bless you, bless you, bless you. All right. So, the test build. Let's see. It's not decrypt, dude. It decipher. Ho 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 ho! Sucks to be you. I've broken your encryption. Important memo. I want to see what this important memo says. Oh, did you just put it? Yeah, it's just, it's in there. See, uh, it's a binary that I don't care about. All right, well, let's read this new memo. Decrypt. What, decrypt? Isn't that what I said before? Oh, decipher. I am going to do this every time. I don't even care that I'm leaving files everywhere up here. Um, important memo. New to their coffee run today, I'll be back at the office at three. Remember your encryption. That CEO's a jerk. I really don't like guys like that. Like CEOs that are like, okay, our company needs to be professional. We need to like dress up our employees in fancy outfits and make sure that everybody knows how fancy we are because I don't really know what that does other than make your, your developers hate you. So, I don't know. That's just me. I'm hopelessly not. I'm going to just, hold on. Um, I'm, I don't know. I'm hopelessly not fancy, I guess is what I would say. I don't think that's going to do anything, but I just want to see. It's super cool that it looks all neat when it's working. I mean, it's really fancy. It's a fancy, fancy, fancy thing. All right, this is going to be a binary, isn't it? Oh, my God. All right. This better be something good in here. Because just encrypting the same file over and over again isn't really that useful to you. I'm grumpy because this episode's already gone on too long. But we're going to finish this darn mission. Okay, what? Oh, it's how they do the encryption. Well, that's neat. Remove encrypt layer, encrypt layer, cut deck. We'll remove. Get rid of that. Those are both worthless. Get rid of. that i'm gonna just probably leave all of my super cool stuff despite it not really being that cool um, all right let's do this one extra thing and get it out then we're supposed to dump it on the dump server right yeah okay Nifty AF. Don't want you around. You're not part of it. 
drop server. Goodbye now. Got you, buddy. Super contract successful. Yeah, 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 boy. All right, awesome. Well, that's a great place to stop. We successfully dealt with some pretty tricky stuff. These missions are getting much, much more complicated. And I'm actually glad because I was wondering if this game could get hard. Um, Uplink gets tough because the people that chase you get way, way better. And eventually you get pulled into this whole conspiracy and everything is insane. So I'm hoping something cool happens in this game, but um, we'll see uh, next time on Hacknet. Bye, guys.